I will always be grateful for my assignment in the Church that have taken me to live in different countries. We found in each one of these countries a great diversity and extraordinary people with different customs and traditions. We all have customs and traditions that are personal from our family or come from the community in which we live, and we hope to keep all those that align with the principles of the gospel. Edifying customs and traditions are fundamental to our efforts to stay on the covenant path, and those that are an obstacle we ought to reject. A custom is the practice or the frequent and habitual way uh, of thinking for a person, culture, or tradition. Frequently, the things we think and do in a habitual way we recognize as normal. Allow me to illustrate this. Patricia, my beloved wife, loved to drink coconut water and then to eat the coconut. During our first visit to Puebla, Mexico, we went to a place where we bought a coconut. After drinking the water, my wife asked them to cut the coconut and bring her the flesh to eat. When it came, it was reddish. They had sprinkled it with chili. Sweet coconut with chili. That seemed so strange to us. But later, we learned that the strange ones were my wife and I, who did not eat coconuts with chili. <laughs> In Mexico, however, it is not rare. It's very normal. On another occasion, we were eating in Brazil with some friends, and they served us avocado. Uh, just as we were about to sprinkle sal on it, our friend said to us, what are you doing? We already put sugar on the avocado. <laughs> avocado with sugar. <laughs> that seems so odd to us. But then we learned that the odd ones were my wife and I, who did not eat avocado with sugar. <laughs> But in Brazil, avocado sprinkled with sugar is normal. What is normal for some may be odd for others, depending on their customs and traditions. Which customs and traditions are normal in our lives? President Nelson has said, today we often hear about a new normal. If you really want to embrace a new normal, I invite you to turn your heart, mind, and soul increasingly to our Heavenly Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. Let that be your new normal. This invitation is for all. It does not matter whether we are poor or rich, educated or uneducated, old or young, sick or healthy, he invites us to let the normal things in our lives be those which keep us on the covenant path. No country uh, contains the totality of what is good or admirable. Therefore, as Paul taught, if there is anything virtuous, lovely, or of good report or praiseworthy, we seek after these things. If there be any praise, think on these things. Note that this is an exhortation, not merely a commentary. I would like all of us to take a moment to meditate on our customs and the way they are influencing our, our families. Among the marvelous and, uh, habits that should be normal for members of the church are these four. First, personal and family study of the scriptures. To become converted to the Lord Jesus Christ, each person is responsible for learning the gospel. Parents are responsible for teaching the gospel 
to their children. Second, personal and family prayer. The Savior commands us to pray always. Prayer allows us to communicate personally with our Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, Jesus Christ. Third, attend sacrament meeting weekly. We do so to remember Jesus Christ as we take the sacrament. In this ordinance, the members of the Church renew their covenant of taking upon themselves the name of the Savior, of always remembering Him and of keeping His commandments. And fourth, participate frequently in temple work and in doing family history. This work is the means of uniting and sealing families for eternity. How do we feel when we hear uh, these four things? Are they part of our normal lives? There are many other traditions that could be part of the normality we have adopted, thus letting God prevail in our lives. How can we determine what will be the normal things in our lives and in our family? In the scriptures, we find a great model. In Mosiah 5.15, it says, I would that ye should be steadfast and immovable, always abounding in good words. I love this word because we know that the things that become normal in our lives are those that, that we repeat again and again. If we are steadfast and immovable in doing good, our customs will be in accordance with the principle of the gospel, and they will help us to stay on the covenant path. President Nelson has also counseled, embrace your new normal by repenting daily. Seek to be increasingly pure in thought, word, and deed. Minister to others. Keep an eternal perspective. Magnify your callings. And wherever your challenges, my dear brothers and sisters, live each day so that you are more prepared to meet your Maker. Now, it is not all for either my wife Patricia or for me to eat coconut with chili and avocado with sugar. In fact, we like it. <laughs> However, exaltation is something much more transcendental than a sense of taste. It is a topic related to eternity. I pray that our normality may allow us to experience that state of never-ending happiness that is promised to those who keep the commandments of God. And while doing so, we may be able to say, and it came to pass that we live after the manner of happiness. My dear brothers and sisters, I testify of the 15 men whom we sustain as prophets, seers, and revelators, including our beloved prophet, President Russell M. Nelson. I testify that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is true. I especially testify of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Redeemer. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen.